What is up, my Squirtle Lights? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we made our way through Lavender Town, making it to the entrance of Rock Tunnel, and off screen, I managed to get flashed onto Zip, just temporarily, of course, so we can make our way through here. Now, in this uh, version of the game, of course, there are no trainers in uh, all of Rock Tunnel, so we don't really have anything to worry about. We're just going to kind of hurry our way through here as fast as possible and try to make as much, or cover as much ground as possible to make it to Cerulean City. Oh, boy. So excited to finally get there and get that badge. Oh, there we go. TM56 Fling. A TM I will never be teaching my Pokemon, mostly because they can't learn it, but also because it's just completely useless. Like, like it's just not a good move. Sorry, it isn't. Uh... But for those who are curious, what it basically does is you throw your hold item, it does damage based on how, what your hold item is, yada yada yada. It's really just not worth it. <laughs> it's not a very good move. I don't really know anyone that uses it anyway. Like, why would you want to get rid of your hold item? Or what would you, what items are you hoarding that you would want to be flinging anyway? Like, I don't, I don't understand that. And you know, I could be wrong. There's probably, you do, you do, no, there's like this unlimited source of magic beans and if you use fling it does a thousand damage per attack it's like shut up i'm a nerd but come on cut me some slack okay well anyway let's just grab some more items oh we got to revive i'll always take those always always i'll take those all right let's go around the other way and yeah oh man i'm actually in a pretty darn good mood at the start of this recording session i gotta say uh i just got back from a movie i won't say what uh, and I won't talk about it just because, well, I'm probably going to talk about it in the update anyway, the, which I'm assuming is probably going to go before this video, uh, but I'll just say I really, really enjoyed that movie, like, a lot, um, and yeah, it's, it's put me in a pretty good mood, I don't know, just the whole atmosphere of the movie definitely, it's got me, got me smiling, I gotta say that much, so I'm excited to play some Pokemon, and I'm excited to, you know, uh, get everyone leveled up and, and, you know, get the last of these eight, or I guess how many gym badges we have left? Six? Six gym badges. Uh, although I'm probably not going to get all of them in this sitting, because that would be kind of difficult. Okay, Skip Lube, hi. I wish you were my other Leafeon that I have in my IRL game. I'm not saying this is an IRL, but like, I... My file that I have... Well, I don't, I don't want to switch to Oliver. Let's switch to Eve. Uh, my file that I have on my Alpha Sapphire, I've got a Leafeon with x Scissor and... Well, I guess x Scissor wouldn't even be super effective anyway on Skiploom. So I guess that's counterintuitive. Okay, Cotton Spore. Let's use Psy Beam, because that's probably all I need to use anyway on this thing. Alright, we get it. You sucked a little bit of health, but really not that much, because Eve is kind of a special tank. Although, if you were to flick her... That would probably knock off half of her health. Just gotta say that. Oh, come on. So close. Uh, just hurt yourself or something, please. Thank you. Okay, so there goes Sea Bloom, and then it's gonna throw out one more. And I'm actually gonna switch out just because I don't think that Eve is gonna go first anyway. Yep, another Skip Bloom. Let's switch over to. Let's just switch to Nanani. She's gonna take care of this thing the fastest anyway. <sighs> I cannot wait to give you Ice Beam, dearie. I cannot wait. Icy Wind is good, don't get me wrong, but Ice Beam is my love. It is it is my lover. N not in a sexual way, because that would be cold, but... I mean, in what other terminology is lover used, though, really? Like, that's kind of what that means. Whatever, it doesn't matter. All right. So, there's actually quite a few trainers on this route that we got to take care of, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Oh, good, full restore. Happily, we'll take that. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of trainers on this route, so I don't know if we'll make it quite to Cerulean before the end of this uh, video, but it's it, you can always try, I suppose. Oh, Onyx, good. See, this is my thing about frickin' rock types. I've always... Rock types always get me, like, nervous for one reason and one reason only, and that's because they all, like, so many of them have the potential to have Sturdy as their ability. Sturdy, and it is just out of sheer annoyance, Sturdy isn't really that big of a deal, because 95% of the time they don't capitalize on it anyway, on having Sturdy. 
I mean, of course, sturdy can be annoying when, like, some Elite Four member has it, and then they just use a full restore, and it's like, ugh! <laughs> and then it activates again. But that being said, it's just a, an annoyance. It's like, I want to get through this battle as fast as possible. You have sturdy, F you. It's, that, it's just that kind of mentality. Like, ugh! Why? Why must you exasperate me so? Speaking of exasperating... We are done with that. Okay, Repel's effect wore off. I don't really think I need to worry about get, putting on another one anyway. Please don't have any grass types. I'm sorry, I did not read that dialogue box, but it looked too simple to put into... No, no, that's not what I meant to say. Whatever. You got a water type, that's all I'm, I'm going to say. That's all I'm happy about. I'm just going to Razor Leaf you, and I'm going to level up to level 45, or at least Cynthia will, my darling will. And that's all there is to it. Nice crit. Make sure that the job is done. Alright, level 45. Do win work, Cynthia. And what has he got next? Sand Slash! We will keep you out. And I'm going to Giga Drain this thing instead because it is much more of a physical wall. I mean, well, I probably could still take it down with Razor Leaf. I mean, Cynthia is physically oriented anyway, and it is super effective. And you have a little bit of a level advantage on him. I probably should have used Giga Drain. Okay, well now I can use Giga Drain, now that I've taken some damage, okay? There. I was just trying to conserve PP, but I guess we're going to get to Cerulean before I need to worry about that. Anyway, I don't know why that's always in the back of my mind. Let's conserve PP, let's conserve PP. No, the only time you really ever need to do that is when you're going through, like, Victory Road or something. In, like, I guess not in this game, but, like, in the other games where there's tons and tons of trainers. I like the only time where that becomes a factor is going through Victory Road... And, or occasionally, I guess, sometimes going through the Elite Four, if you have a sweeper. That's the, I guess, the only other time you gotta worry about it. Alright, Graveler! Hi, buddy. Mind if I Razor Leaf? Yeah, I'm gonna get a drain, screw it. You don't have Sturdy, right? I never know which Rock types have Sturdy. I never know. And you know what? I don't actually think... You know what? Now that I think about it, Sturdy didn't actually have that effect of just preventing one shots from anything until gen 5 now that i think about it i think in gen 4 and gen 4 and prior the only thing sturdy worked on was moves like fissure and guillotine if i'm not mistaken i think yeah i think that's what it is and then they buffed sturdy in generation 5 so that it just meant that your pokemon couldn't go down in one hit like period so yeah, okay, maybe I don't have to worry about that then. Maybe, the, maybe yeah, I, I'm just being paranoid. Just being paranoid. Ugh. Don't be paranoid. It's not worth it. All right. And that should put her insanely close to level 46. Cynthia doing work on this route. Good for her. She needs this because, you know, I, I'll admit she has been kind of underutilized throughout this entire LP. Uh... And, and it's funny because Zip has actually needed a lot of utility and he's been the most useless. Oh, that was kind of mean. Uh, he kind of has been though. Like, let's be, let's be frank. Uh, which is sad. I mean, I, I don't know if he's had the most utility. I would actually say that goes to Nanani, which is why she's so highly leveled. Uh, ice types just tend to have so much use in this game. And grass types, not as much. I've kind of had to force Cynthia in there a lot. Uh, which, you know, honestly, I don't mind too much. Because... Uh, Really, she kind of... She, it's its not that I've necessarily had to force her in there. She also kind of just does work whenever I've needed uh, a physical attacker of any kind. So she has had some use, but at the same time, it's like, man, I wish I could use her more and actually feel comfortable doing so. Thank you for not hitting yourself in confusion. Flatter. Now, see, Flatter, I've never understood the point of that move because... Swagger, it makes sense. You increase their attack so that, you know, they'll do more damage to themselves when the confusion hits. It's a double-edged sword kind of thing. Flatter, it's just like, here's confusion. Oh, by the way, also, here's a free special attack upgrade. That's not going to do anything. That's not going to hurt you anymore. It's just going to benefit you more. What is the point of that? Okay, uh, anyway. I really want to switch out to something. F it. Let's go to Oliver. I know he's weak to this Raichu, but I am going to see if he can power through this regardless. Come on, Oliver. Let's see if you can one-shot this thing with Surf or something. Oh, it's a level above you. Probably not, then. 
here we go. Oh, it's all it's got is Thundershock. Well, that's not too worrisome unless it paralyzes. Didn't. Good. Thank goodness. All right. Go down, Raichu. Go down, you big chubby mouse. But you are adorable. I will give you that. I do like I do like me Raichu. It is one of my favorite Pokemon. I'm not gonna lie. Hence why I used it in uh, my Pokemon Leaf Green playthrough. I really like Raichu. Pikachu, I don't care for as much. I'm sorry. I'm I'm not as big of. I mean, yeah, he is adorable and stuff. But Raichu is like super adorable and then like power all rolled up into just one ball of electricity. I love it. Okay. And Picnicker Ed Edna goes down. Let's keep going. Well, let's grab with this item real quick. What do you got? Max Potion. Sweet. I mean, I'm, I'm loving all these items I'm grabbing on this route. Can't complain about any of them. All right. So we need to go up and around. Please don't run into a, a random battle. Okay. Well, I guess if I wanted to avoid that, I probably shouldn't have been running. There's a level 15 Rattata, a.k.a. A just immediately run. And bam. Okay. What do you got? You are the last thing I have to fight before I can make it to Cerulean, so please make this quick. Camper Sid, and he's got ground types so far. All right, that's a good start. Cynthia, let's see if you can just one-shot this thing with Razor Leaf. Doug Trio really doesn't have much defenses anyway. It's more of just a... Uh, what's the what's the term for it? Kind of a glass... I wouldn't say glass cannon, because if attack still isn't even his strongest... I mean, it's stronger than his defenses, obviously, but it's like... He's speed. He's just fast. He's just really, really fast. Uh, so, yeah. All right. Polyrath. Well, that'll be interesting. Let's try another Razor Leaf. Hopefully this will actually bring out some good experience, considering he's a, he's a third evolution, and those typically give the most. Oh, so close. So close. Golly, that submission animation. Could you... S I think that lasted a little longer than it should have. <laughs> Just like going in circles, going in circles, going, still going in circles, still going. Okay, there we go. Now damage has been dealt. Polyrath. Polyrath was actually a favorite of mine when I was a kid, uh, but more so because of Pokemon Stadium. I don't know why. I just really liked to choose, and it was because of that move right there, a submission. I always liked to choose Polyrath in Pokemon Stadium, and I think it was just because whoever I played with, they typically liked to use. Pokemon that were weak to it, uh, and Polyrath just did work. He just did work with his submission, and I used him all the time, and it was awesome. Ah, fond memories of Polyrath. Now that I care more about design in Pokemon, I realize he's ugly as hell, and I never use him anymore, but, you know, that aside, Mom, stop calling. I'm not picking up the phone. I'm not, fine, Mom, okay, just, uh, Stop it. I know you know I'm OCD about this stupid freaking ringtone. Hate that ringtone. Why did I ever Why couldn't I put on something cool like I don't know, Don't Stop Believing by Journey or something like that? That would have been a way better ringtone, way less obnoxious. All right, we are here in Cerulean City, everybody. Uh is this still the bike shop? Trendsetter of the bicycle boom. Okay. Let's see, I want to see what's going on in here. Let's let's take a look around real quick. There is no one in here. Hi. Long time ago, this cool boy rode my bike around, and that started this entire bike boom. Then I decided to open a branch of Golden Rod City, and they started selling like the wind, but no one comes to this shop anymore because of that. All I have left here is a bicycle pump. Should I start selling inflatable tubes? Oh, that's kind of sad. I mean, I guess Cerulean isn't really the best location. It's kind of isolated. Like, not entirely. It is due north of Saffron, which is kind of a giant city, but... Other than that, there's not really much to it. I mean, when you think about it, Cerulean is a little isolated. Like, there's tunnels, like, giant cave systems that you have to go through to get to it on either side, both east and west. And to the north, there's literally nothing. Uh, and then there's, there's, yeah, there's Saffron to the south, but it's just like, that's it. So, I, I can see why business would go down in a place like this. She... Okay, I thought you were giving your slow bro a back rub for a second there. It looked kind of weird. Okay, well, uh, there is a gym here, of course. And also, though, this is there's a notice here. Stamp out the every and make the city a friendly and more cheerful place. What is this house? Is it anything special? Is it some shady character is skulking about? I want Sanford if he turns out to be a thief. We were held up by robbers before. Well, this is the dig house, of course. The almighty dig house from 
Generation 1. And by that, the house that the TM28 dig was stolen from. This is the uh, gym. The gym leader is actually completely absent at the moment. There is nobody here. So, we're going to have to leave. And we have to go find the gym leader. But we're not going to worry about that until the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much. And I will see you all in the next one.